and today we're talking about worms and worms they can be like a little grossed out but they are a good thing for your garden to help the plants healthy and for the soil so we're going to be talking about what worm farm is suits you best this one is a three-story one so you have the bottom one which gets all the worm tea which is the weed and then we have the second story which is where the worms live and after that gets full, you start on the third story. Now let's have a look inside our worm farm. Take off the first layer. And I have a worm blanket here just to, it helps stop flies not coming here. And then in here we have one side for all the food for the worms. And then we have the other side for where they poo. And I'm going to look at what to feed um, the worms and what not to feed. So you want to feed them tea bags, tea leaves, coffee grounds, fruit and veggies from your kitchen, your scraps, and you can also feed them newspaper. Now the things you don't want to feed them is meats, dairy, and citrus fruit. So like oranges, lemons, so on. Now I'm going to show you um, how to get the worm tea. So I'm going to take my worm blanket off. Now I've got six litres of water here, you might not need all of it, but I'm going to pour water all on here just to moisturise it. You want to do this once a week to make it all nice and moisturised. This does not harm the worms, so the worms will be fine from all the flooding, so they won't be too startled. So you hear that noise, it's coming through the little holes. Once you get a bucket, this is some other worm tea I have, and you just want to turn the tap on. Now it's coming out. Might just do another one just to make sure it's nice and moist. Now while that's coming out, I have this worm conditioner which stops it from having too bad of a smell so just make sure there's no smell in your worm farm so you just want to do a light sprinkle of that on top not too much just a light bit of that now that we've got that this is just about done there's still a bit left to come and we're going to also want to go through like worms in your garden bed. Worms, they help you to have a healthy soil and it kills all the bad roots that they're, uh, all the dead roots. So they're very good for your soil, keeps it all healthy. Now once we've got enough here, we'll turn the tap off. And how do we water our plants with this? Well, look at that. You can use a spray bottle, but having soil in there and with the water coming down, little bits of dirt get in there so it stops it from spraying too well. Now I'm going to add worm tea to the watering can. So I've got water almost full and I'm going to add some worm tea to it. And then you just want to stir it. I've got the lid of the spray bottle here. I'm just going to stir it. I'm going to go and water all the plants. Now I'm going to talk about worm casting. Now how do you get the worm casting? Well I'll show you. So I talked about how we have one side for the veggies and this side is where they poo. So that's what we want, the worm casting there. We want the sift to be able to get it. So in three months, you have to wait three months for the poo to settle in. And then you want to get some and put it in there and just shake it out. And that is how you get the worm casting for your garden beds and to have healthy soil. Here's a worm I found in my worm farm. It's looking pretty healthy. Thank you for watching my video. Hope to see you next time. Bye!